Hi, my name is Adam Osofsky, Osofsky822. Uh, I play the character as Solid Snake from Metal Gear Solid and also in the Super Young Mario Brothers series. Xander Brow, how did I meet him was that he came up to me, you know, actually I met him through at the mall, and you know, with uh, my girlfriend, and it was his girlfriend at the time, and uh, she was, you know, he showed me this uh, movie series, and you know, I was really interested. When I was uh, interested, it was like, wow, you know, he gave me the part of Solid Snake for Bowser's Revenge, and that's when he started coming in. But uh, I feel like that was the funnest times of my life was during Bowser's Revenge. But the thing is, though, I didn't know who Solid Snake even was. So I had to wear like a band shirt, shorts, and have a gun with an e-cig in my mouth. And yeah, and I'm, you know, and a black hat. But you know, as soon as I saw his character, it's like, okay, all camo. And when we did the movie, it's like, yeah, now we gotta do his attitude change. And, get into a little snake mode because uh, I got into the Metal Gear games and also the funny thing is that <laughs> we were we had to run out to Walmart to go get the camo gear so yeah Zyner Brow has been really good to me for the past few years and I'm really glad to be part of the production but uh, yeah so the other thing is that you know as when I played snake all the characters, you know, his character changed from season to season. But you know, was but I did Bowser's Revenge. I didn't know how who he was, so I just had to be like a random, like looks like a guy who had not a military brat, but like a you know a thug. <laughs> and then next thing you know, it's like now we did the now we since we know what Snake really looks like, it's like okay, I could try to portray him a little bit better. But when we did the movie, you know, the, his character changed, and also his uh, his cat, his clothing changed. So we wore all ca I wore all camo. But then, as soon as like you know, when we did, you know, when we were starting Snake Two, it's like okay, well, the hat's gonna go, the army jacket's gonna go. It's gonna be, you know like a camo you know how he wore like something camo and then he had a gun and he had a bandana so I got rid of the hat so I go to the bandana but you know as like I like as Anna Bros said I portray snake like it's nothing because uh, you know I know a little bit of military I know a little bit of what it takes to be snake you know it takes strength and stamina and all that and you know he also smokes so it's the other funny thing so the other thing is that what we did, but Oscar's Revenge, it was it was fun on the set. It was very fun, but it didn't get to. It wasn't serious. But when we got to the movie, it got a little bit more serious. But as we got into the Super Young Mario Brothers, it got really serious. I mean, working with these guys was actually nothing. But you know, these guys were all they were. They loved to do what they their parts. Brower being Mario, Lackett being Luigi, Ryan being Bowser, and we also have two. We also and now Link's character. You know, if we had switched a new actor, so that that actually made it a lot better. But I don't know why I had to appear in the Link movie. It was really, really dumb. <laughs> but you know, it had to be for the Super Young Mario Brothers series, so it's actually pretty cool. The other thing that is that. Mario and Snake, I think they have like a little brotherhood, but not as much of a brotherhood as him and uh, Luigi. But I think if Snake had a brotherhood with someone, I think I'm not gonna lie, it had to be with Link. Because those two actually have what sort of a scene together. And Link, when me and Link were in the same scene for uh, the, his the Link movie. I think it was like, you know, caught a little brotherhood out. And then, the, and you know, now the Super Young Mario Brothers, it actually had a little more brotherhood. So, me and Ness only had one scene together, so I barely got to know him. <laughs> Snake, uh, Snake and Mario actually have a good bond, though. They do. You know, I called them up. You know, Brower was like, you know, let's we have to do scenes together with Mario. And then, 
when we had to do a scene with Shadow Mario, I was a little scared because I'm like, I don't know what's going to happen. Because Shadow, when he played Shadow Mario, I think it was a little bit more serious than I think it was. So, But yeah, we had fun on the sets. But more of the Snake, the first Snake movie, that... He, I'm not going to lie. I think the, the first time when we filmed Snake, I think we had a lot more bloopers than a movie. I mean, my pants fell, my pants keep, my pants were kept falling when I was doing the run scene, and I was wore out when I did the pull up. So I'm like, ugh, I hate this. It's it's not fun, but it was fun at the same time. The Dunkin' Donut scene, I I didn't get for no reason. It's like really liquid would be a Dunkin' Donuts. What the hell would he be doing, having a hangover, getting a coffee and a donut? I'm like, wow. But yeah, we had we had fun. But Snake 2, I think it got a little bit more serious. But in Snake 2, I think uh, the thing is that we want to be more a little more dramatic. Hopefully we can finish uh, the movie. We're going to hopefully pull it through. If not... And then whatever we have, we'll just send it to YouTube for you guys. But yeah, we're going to hopefully complete the movie. We have a lot of scenes to do and got a lot of work to do. And we have more camera scenes. You know, Brower has been a really good friend to me. He really, I'm glad to be part of his production. I'm glad that, you know, I met the guy. And, you know, I really love filming. I love this thing. It's fun, you know, even though if I get made fun of it. But you know what? If you make fun of me for it, here's my thing for you. So. Here all my pictures. <laughs> if you, you know, and all the updates. The other, but do you know what, though? The thing that I don't get is why am I playing a badass military guy to going to a guy from wearing all blue and telling Link what to, telling Link about the Triforce and everything. Groose, me playing as Groose was fun, but it's not fun at the same time. One, because it's like, it's not my kind of character. Two, I, I think Snake was more of my character than anything. So, that's like, but you know what though, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be used to being a multi-movie actor. Yeah, I, I consider it as an acting practice. But, um, like, uh, Brower, he plays like five characters in a movie. But I think his best, other than Mario, other than Mario, I think his best character is, no, believe it or not, <laughs> Otacon. Because he plays, you know, because he's annoying. He's always up, he's always up Snake's ass. You know, he's up, up, sometimes I'll be up my ass too about filming. So it's like, him and Otacon are the same person. I think the question is, does Otacon play also Darkness? In the Super Young Mario Brothers, that's scary. <laughs> that's very scary, to be honest with you. Going from happy to serious. Yeah, you went from happy to he went from happy to serious. He's like, oh my god, and it's like, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> and you know what? The funny thing, I think the best scene so far that me and um, Bro Xander Brown did was believe it was the Shadow Mario <laughs> snake scene. We were like, okay. Because when we first, if you watch the bloopers, he'll say, try to get the gun on the table, first shot, and landed right on the table. Yeah, the funny thing is that when uh, Shadow Mario, if you look at the scene very closely, Shadow Mario is a short shit. He'll look, he's like, oh, I'm going to kill you. Oh my god, it's the god, it's the <laughs> Empire. He's like, he's like Napoleon looking up the Empire State Building. That's how he looks like. So yeah, I had a fun time with Sandra Brown. I enjoyed playing Snake. I, I'm gonna miss you guys. If you know, I'm gonna miss playing uh, the roles. I'm gonna miss filming with the guys. We're gonna hopefully these guys do well in full sale. Maybe we'll get Sandra Brown Productions into a big uh, production movie, like one big production company. So if that happens, that that'd be great. We're gonna bump it up a level. Get the old crew and let's do some filming. Um, I'm glad to be working with you guys. I really like, and also guys, I actually want to say thank you for subscribing. So, and also looking at my videos. I'm hoping to post more videos soon. I'm hoping to put post more on my channel. Hopefully I get more subscribers. Uh, if you have any ideas, let me know. I'll do some Let's Plays. I'll do anything for you guys, alright? 
Take care and thank you for subscribing to Sandra Bro and my channel. This is Adam Osofsky. Goodbye.